standing leg work. So what I want you to do is we're going to start with our heels together, toes apart. All right, you don't want to turn out too much where everything is like a, too much of a rotation. You want to sort of think of like a fist distance between your big toe knuckles. All right, so it's just like a little pizza pie. So if you connect the heels together, I want you also to connect the inner thighs together. So feel that connection all the way up and feel as if you're making like little candy canes in your thighs, like the energy round, 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 round. So twist open, squeeze the lower parts of your seat muscles together. Everything's active, okay? You're gonna draw your belly in, you're gonna round the shoulders back, you're gonna keep your heart open. And all I want you to do is you're gonna lift the heels up and then pull them back down. Up and down. Lift and lower, hands on the hips. You wanna be careful that you're not lifting too high where you're just lifting right onto like the pinky toes. You wanna to really stay in the center of the ball of the foot. Good. Press, press. Activate the ab muscles. Let the abs sort of pick you up each time. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You're gonna keep them up on one, so keep them apart. All you're gonna do is bend your legs down so that they make two sort of 45 degree angles forward. And then you're gonna lower the heels down and straighten up the leg. So you're gonna lift the heels, bend the knees, push the heels, feel that nice, beautiful ankle stretch, and stretch it up. Lift, bend, lower, lengthen. Up, down, push, and lengthen, good. Five, almost feel yourself just like rolling through the foot. Make it flow. Three, Stay upright, don't lean forward. Good. So now we have to reverse the direction. You're gonna bend down, your heels stay down, they stay together. Then you're gonna lift the heels, they come apart. Lengthen it up as you squeeze the seat and the abs, and then lower down. Bend, lift, lengthen up. <laughs> Getting beautiful ankle work. We don't work our ankles nearly enough and when you have weak ankles, injury can really happen, okay? So keeping those ankles nice and strong. Six, really try to stay in the center of the ball of foot. Don't sickle outward or inward. Woo, good, three more. Three, it's two, one, Good, and lower down. Now what I want you to do is you're gonna lift the ball of your foot just about an inch or two so that you can keep the heels to, together. So before we were lifting a little higher, they came apart. Now they're lifted, but they're staying together. So you should be able to, like, to hang out here, all right? But you might lose your balance a little bit, but you're able to hang. As you squeeze the heels, feel that connection all the way up to the butt. So you're squeezing the heels, squeezing the butt, and make that connection. Then squeeze the abs. So you have like this triangle effect of heels, butt, abs, everything working. Massage the shoulders down, take the hands on the hips again, and we're just gonna go down and up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, now keep that little bend, I'll show you. You're squeezing your heels, your seat is over the heels, you're not back like this, all right? And then lengthen the chest. We're gonna go down for three and then go up one little one. So it's one, two, three, little up. You wanna sort of work at your lowest point that you can keep your alignment. And if you need to hold something for balance, go right ahead. Three, two, one, little lift. Three, two, one. Keep working on that posture. Abs tight. You want to constantly lengthen out of your waist. We're going to change it up. You're going to go down for one, up for three. Down, up, two, three, down. Down, two. Down, up, two, three, down. Up, two, three, down. Woo! Three more. Two. One. 
and then hold it as low as you can, as low as you can, keep your heels together, squeeze them shut, and then rock it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Boom, keep a boogie, 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 lower, 20, get lower. Squeeze the heel, squeeze the seat, get those thighs a burning. 12, 11, 10, lower. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and come on up. Good job. All right, shake it out for me. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. Well, we're now going to keep our legs so they're hip bone distant and parallel. Feet are flat. Sit back in your imaginary chair. Keep your chest up. We've done these before. And then push in your heels to come up. Down, up, 10, 9, 8. You can add the arms. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hold it down, lift the heels now, and then press, press, hold. Down, down, hold. Down, down, hold. Eight more. Eight, eight, hold. Seven, seven, hold. Six. Keep going. Doing great. Two more. Your heels are lifted, and now pulse it out there. 10. Get lower, sit your chest up higher. 5, 4, 3, 2, hands on the hips, and just sort of run it out. Get lower, chest higher. 10, switch. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and stand up. up. Good job. So from here. You're getting that little pizza pie again, just a little heel together, toe apart. You want to tuck your booty under a little bit, not too much, just enough where you feel your low seat muscles engage. Take your right foot back behind your left thigh. Pick up that leg and bend your standing leg a little bit. All right, so from the front, it looks like this, okay? So now what I want you to do is you're going to pull your right thigh as far back as you can, behind your other thigh. So we're working behind the body. You're going to go back and hold. Back and hold. Let's go 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Hold it there and then just pulse it out there. 10. 9. 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Good. Other side. Tuck, lower. All right, here we go. You're going to lift that foot up. You're going to press it back. And we're going to go back and hold, working behind the body. Back and hold. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two. You're going to hold it back there. Make sure your standing leg has a bend in it. And press it. Ten, nine, eight. Keep your weight in that front heel. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And release it. Good. All right. So now one leg forward, one leg back. We're going to do that 90th little sort of lower. So this is like almost at a 90 degree angle. The weight is in your front heel. You're going to go down and up. Push through that front heel. We're not coming all the way up. Just little down and up. So eight, seven, six. Abs are tight. Chest is up. Shoulders over the hips. Trying to get that back knee as close to the floor as you can. Two more. Now you're going to hold it down there. Hold it and look. Ten pulses. That's it. Ten. Nine, push into that front heel. Activate the back of that thigh. Seven, six, get lower. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up, switch sides. All right, so we're going to bend. Weight is in that front heel. Back knee towards the floor. Ten of them. Ten. We're not coming all the way up. Nine, eight, seven. Good job. Abs tight, shoulders back. Neck long. Weight in that front heel. Keep pushing it into that heel. Activate the hamstring. 
Three, it's not gonna activate on its own. You have to mentally put your brain power there. <laughs> so push into that heel, lower it down, give me 10 pulses. 10, nine, as it gets harder, get lower. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and come on up. Good job, guys, shake it out. All right, so if you wanna do a little stretch, go ahead, walk around a little bit, get your sort of body moving again. We'll do one roll down here, just kind of roll it down, release the back, and roll it back up. All right, good job, I'll see you tomorrow.